the two row bind off with eyelets for fringe. Hi, I'm Kristen and welcome back to Studio Knit. This two row bind off gives us these pretty little eyelets from which we can easily add fringe. Make sure to watch to the end and I'll show you how we do that. It's also a great option when you're finishing the one by one rib stitch because we are binding off in pattern. The top of our bind off is really pretty. It looks like the stockinette stitch on top and there is a moderate stretch to it. So it's not too tight and not too stretchy. If you're excited to learn this bind off technique and would like to see me post more great ideas, please like up this video. It really helps me out. So when you'd like to add fringe to a blanket or a scarf, consider this bind off technique. It is very easy and makes adding fringe quite simple. And with this technique, we're actually beginning on the front side of our work and we are going to turn it and finish the bind off on the wrong side of our work. So let's get started. We begin with one knit stitch and then bring our yarn to the front for one purl stitch. We'll bring our yarn to the back and we're going to bind off one. So the knit stitch, the first stitch, is going to get passed over the purl. So you take your left needle, pick up that first stitch, and pass it over the second. Now that stitch right there, the purl stitch, is remaining on our needle, and we continue on. So we knit one, again, yarn to the front. We purl one, yarn to the back, and that first purl stitch is still staying there, and the knit stitch again is getting passed over the purl stitch picking it up with our left needle and passing it over. Let's do it together one more time and you'll see those two purl stitches are remaining on our right needle. So we are knitting one stitch. The yarn comes to the front because we are purling one stitch. Yarn to the back and that one knit stitch is going to get passed over the purl stitch and we just continue this by keeping those purl stitches on our right needle until we get to the end of the row and this is what it looks like it's so pretty but we still need to bind off so we are turning our work and finishing on the wrong side we begin by slipping purl wise two stitches so you just slip those two stitches and the first stitch right here is going to get passed over the second. So we're finishing up the bind off and we just continue by slipping one stitch purl wise and then taking that first stitch with our left needle and passing it over and this is completing our bind off. And you'll notice that the yarn is remaining on the right side. So when you're finished here, it's a little bit different weaving in our ends because we need to take a little scrap of yarn to actually sew down that last stitch. So I'm just going to use my tapestry needle, slide the knitting needle out, insert my yarn into that stitch, and then I am just going to weave in the ends of this little scrap yarn right here in order to finish up the bind off. And of course the yarn tail that remains on the right side will also need to be woven in and then just cut off your yarn tails. You can see the top of our bind off is really pretty. It has those little V's. It looks like the stockinette stitch to me. And we have our little eyelets at the top as well. And so if you would like to add fringe, and either with your fingers or crochet hook, fold your yarn fringe and slide it right there through the eyelets. And then you just take the ends of the yarn and insert them through the loop, tie it up, and you have your fringe. 
I hope you are inspired to give this two row bind off technique a try the next time you are finishing up a scarf or a blanket and you'd like to add some fringe and I will see you here next time. Bye.